to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England for tonight's main event. 12 rounds among heavyweights. Here we go. Fox Round number one, scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Able to dismiss that body shot. Watch the hook! Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Silk's right hand scores well that time. Ooh. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Nice, nice. <sighs> Able to cover up that gut. of the talk. Silk's got to wake up to the fact that he just lost that last round. And the reason he did was because he wasn't efficient. He wasn't accurate. Yeah, he was throwing punches. He wasn't landing many. No, he's throwing them from too far away. They're too wide. He needs to shorten them up, get into better range, and use that jab as a finder. Oh, hands up, hands up. Priceless is still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Stop, stop. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Silk. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Flush right hand to the head. Priceless is left, landing well. Silk hurt by a superb hook to the head. Halfway through this round here, a thudding left by Price. Big, big shot he just scored with. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time silks is on the wrong end of a razor sharp hook able to dismiss it how about a return to sender with the left hand tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark Come on! Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. 
Silk's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as your opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Priceless is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Priceless is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. with a left hand. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And round three comes to an end. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. We got it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Beautiful. Nice move right there. Just keep that up. Just keep moving. You don't need that. No. Throw that away. Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, counter. There you go. You have to start throwing in volume in there. Throw in volume. Priceless is up three zip on Teddy's scorecard as we begin round four here. But Teddy, having scored a knockdown, sometimes it can work against you. You don't want to become complacent. No, we've seen that many times where all of a sudden you think that the fight's over. Now all you have to do is go out there and just wait for him to raise your head. That could be a door that could be left open for your opponent to come back. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog here, and this dog fights. Priceless is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. That right hand over the top lands flush. Back to the body. Priceless's jab lands well. Halfway through round number four. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. One, two. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Solid jab by Silk. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Silk. They Stay both decide to bring it. Flush right hand to the body. Priceless's punch is far off the In target. And out. In and out. Silk's last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think Silk's hit by a right hand. <laughs> Priceless is staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Not much action as he just ties up. Priceless is able to land a nice, clean left hand. A 
that shot lands was a hook. Silk's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. <laughs> Oh, what an uppercut. It's okay. Pay him back. Priceless is getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. Clean shot with the right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Silk's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them. 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. How about that left hand? Hey, 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 let's go! And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Priceless's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And out of nowhere, things can turn Focus. like that, Focus. Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little Get lax, and he up. paid a price. Silk's finding out right. Oh, uh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. And now he's targeting upstairs. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Silk. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. And round six comes to an end. Priceless is in control this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. One, two, one, two. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. A stinging blow by Priceless. You're okay. Stay with me here. Yeah. He missed with that headshot. Priceless's defense clearly carrying things right now for him. But what else should he be conscious of beyond just this good footwork we're seeing? Well, the old times would say, hey, you're doing the hard part. You're making a miss. Do the fun part. Make sure he pays. That right hand serving him well. Piercing jab by Silk. Brings 
the left hand upstairs. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Oh, you need to block more. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Good snapping jab. That's what you need to get inside. Hey, Joe, if you're going to rob a bank, you need a smoke screen so the guards don't see you coming. You want to get inside? Use the jab. Start of round number eight, Teddy, and your scorecard shows that this has been a one-sided fight. Priceless is in complete control, but as we've seen many times in this game, it ain't over. No, and as you just kind of led towards, it's time in that corner now for a yogi moment. Remind them just what you were touching on. It ain't over till it's over. Silk's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. Now, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart, man. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart defensively. The other thing is the punch is a little too wide. He needs to shorten him up a little. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. The halfway point of round number eight. Keep moving, keep moving. Needs to improve that accuracy, miss with the headshot. Really wanted that upper. Priceless is banged by a right hand. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Another strong round of accurate precision punching from him. Well, it's easy to be accurate when your opponent walks out there and says, please hit me. I mean, he's like putting a sign on himself. Here's the red target. Priceless is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, nice work, nice it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Not able to land the headshot. Priceless's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. 90 seconds into he's the tight. ninth round. He's tied. Still showing you a little defensive skill there. I better move away from that punch. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Priceless is making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want 
are coming onto my shirt. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Priceless. Working the body. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Back to the body. He got caught by that right. Solid. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Showing you some defense there with the block. Priceless is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just Don't smart, you slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. And round 10 comes to an end. Job and move. No need to get excited. We came to win. We gotta watch the water in the corner. Championship rounds are here. He's up big. Priceless is only really concerned with making sure he doesn't get hit by a lucky punch. Oh, exactly, Joe. It's the end of the night. The bartender just called last call. All he has to do is find his keys and go home. Look at that combination by Silk. At this point, I'd start to question what happened in training camp. Silk's got nothing left in the tank. Looking good. What a solid left oh, by yeah. Priceless. Yeah, you got him. Silk's Let's go. tying up more now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can win other rounds. And he can be around for other rounds. able to land the uppercut. Oh, you got this one. Go on your head. This is the final round. 12 rounds going at you. And this is the final round. Round number 12 coming at you. Priceless is whiffing there. A big wide sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is. And you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old. There it is. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes.
it's all over. Silks is unable to continue. This fight is over. Knockout. That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards. It ends by knockout. That's why as a trainer, you like a fight that's close, that's closely contested. There's a little danger going on because then you know that your guy's going to stay alert. Here, there was no danger. He fell asleep, and now he is asleep. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.